Well, I can tell bad times are right around the corner again. I can tell by all the emails I'm getting talking about. I can't get a break in life. I hate that damn mentality, but I can't get a break. You aren't giving any breaks in life. You make them for yourself. We are all being tested in life. While my test is different than yours, you will be tested. And how you face that test and how you overcome that test determines the rest of your life. The one mentality that you must have in life is that regardless of what's in front of you, you still must grind. I'll never be in the Olympics. I'll never be a professional athlete, but still I grind. I fail at most things I do, but still I grind. I don't want to do half the shit I do, but still I grind. And that one day, you see me down a dark alley, run at one o'clock in the morning, no one thing. I was grinding. Stay on. Yo, 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 what up YouTube? Welcome to CN Take, man. My name is Jay Sin. Coming back with another one, man. You already know the most how to walk us up this morning. Let's take this opportunity to be great, you know what I'm saying? But let me show y'all what it look like out here real quick, you know what I'm saying? It's a little gray, it's a little gloomy, it's a little foggy. But either way, we see that light. Either way, it was in God's will. Either way, we big blessed, we big winning. You know what I'm saying? And it's just the beginning. You know what I mean? For real, for real, man. It's a great morning. You know, great energy. I'm on my way to the gym on this lovely Sunday, man. And I'm getting to it, bro. I'm getting to it. Hopefully, y'all having yourselves a good weekend as well, man. But, you know, I have to show y'all that message from David Goggins, man. Shout out to David Goggins, man. Listen, bro. You know... You can't go wrong listening to Goggins in the morning, you know, as you get your day started, bro, because he absolutely right, man, you know, and a lot of us guys need to get that out of our head to where we think that, you know, we supposed to catch breaks out here, bro, you know what I'm saying? And then when we don't get a break, I can't get a break, I can't get a break, like the guys that be in his emails be talking, listen, bro, you know, you gotta create your own breaks by doing what needs to be done in your life, you know, and you can't let up, bro. You know what I mean? Because that mentality will eat you alive, sitting there whining that you can't catch a break. You know what I mean? Things could be going well in your life, man, but you, you may as well prepare for the bad times, and you do that by grinding, just like he said. You know what I'm saying? And we will fail at most things that we do. But guess what? We still gonna grind. You gotta do the same, bro. You still gotta grind no matter what. Because as soon as you stop grinding, bro, listen, dog. You know, it ain't go, it don't, it ain't gonna ever be no breaks for you because you're not creating them. You're not creating them in your mind. You're not creating them with your health. You're not creating the breaks with your spirit. Uh, none of that. You know, you just opening yourself up. You pretty much just laying down, crying, whining. You know what I mean? It, it wanting things easy, expecting a handout, and none of that's coming for you. Nobody's coming to save you. You know what I mean? Nobody's coming to your rescue because you got to do that. You know what I'm saying? With the strength that the Most High giving you, you got to do that. With the opportunities that the Most High giving you, you got to do that. With the life that the Most High giving you. You got to do that, bro. You got to create that space. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not doing nothing to create it, then guess what, bro? You never going to get your shot up. You never going to get your shot up, bro. Y'all watch, watch basketball, bro. Y'all watch football. You know if you want an opportunity in sports, bro, listen, it's the same with life. You got to create space in order to catch the blessings. If you a wide receiver and you running a route, then what you think you running for? You running your route so you could create the space to catch the ball. You know what I mean? But if you're not doing that by grinding, if you're not doing that by working, if you're not doing that by, by staying disciplined out here, then guess what, bro? You ain't going to catch no blessings in your life, bro. You're going to be out here sick. You know what I mean? You're going to be out here struggling. You're going to be out here weak. Because you're not creating the space for yourself. You watch basketball, guess what? How else you gonna get the shot up, bro? Come on, man. Ask yourself, how else are you gonna get the shot up if you don't do a move 
that's going to create the space in order for you to shoot. How are you going to get the shot? You got to create that space. You create that space with the moves that you make, with the crossover. You know what I'm saying? With the shoulder, putting the shoulder up in life's chest. You got to put a shoulder up in life's chest and, and, and make life back up. You know what I mean? Make demons back up. Make Satan back up. Make succubus women back up. Make urges back up. Make temptation back up. Make sin back up. You got to put your shoulder in its chest. And when you put your shoulder in its chest and then it back up off you and hit you with the O, you know what I'm saying? And then you get that shot up, you get them elbows up and you create that space. You get that jump hook up, you get that jumper up, you get that layup up. And then guess what, bro? You got the bucket. You got the bucket, but it ain't no way you gonna get the buckets if you out here yelling F it, if you yelling uck it, you know? And that's what we see a lot of guys doing. They yelling F it, man. They wanna cry, they yelling F it, man. F these relationships, man. F, 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 F my job, man. F, F everything, man. F trying, F this, F making an effort. F staying disciplined, F staying on the journey. F eat right, F my diet. F this, F that, saying F the gym, F this. They sitting there whining, yelling F everything, forget everything. Because they willing to lay down and they don't, they don't have what it take to create the space. They don't have what it take to create the space. But what you doing on this journey, you creating space. You know what I mean? What you doing when you hitting that gym, you creating space. You creating space to get your shot up. You know what I mean? What you doing on NoFap? You creating space. You know what I'm saying? For, for, for good energy. You creating space for blessings. You creating space to win. You know what I'm saying? But what these mugs doing? They smothering themselves by laying down for sin. They smothering themselves for laying down to comfortability. They smothering themselves in pleasure. They, 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 they smothering themselves in lust. You know what I'm saying? And create no space to get right. You know what I'm saying? But all they doing is creating space to get left. That's all you're doing. That's all you're doing when you quit and give up. You creating, that's the only space you creating for is for you to quit and give up, for you to continue to fail, and for you to never get any blessings in life. That's what most out here doing when they lay down. When they lay down. And when you lay down, you the clown. When you lay down, you the clown. Because guess what, bruh? You squandering away your opportunities. You know what I mean? You squandering away your time. You know, you squandering away your focus. You never out here discipline. You know what I mean? Giving in to what the world say, what the world wants you to do, what society. You following this society footsteps. You know what I mean? So it's just a matter of time before you listening to the alphabet crew. You know what I mean? It's just a matter of time before you, you know, you know, you're getting, you're getting, you know, overweight out here. You know what I'm saying? You out here scared because that's what society wants you to do. You know, society wants you low energy out here. Society wants you distracted out here. You're going to give in to all of that because guess what? You got the time and the space for it. You ain't got the time and the space to get right. You giving it to all of the wrong things. You giving it to all the wrong things. Why you think we landed here, bro? Because we created space for dumb-ish. You know what I mean? We would create the time to just be hanging out. You know what I mean? Doing nothing, doing drugs. You know, we would create the time to be out here doing all the wrong things, chasing hoes. We would create space for all the dumb-ish. And that's what I did with my life, bro. I created space to stay drunk all the time. You know what I mean? I created space to be spiritually drunk. You know what I mean? I created space to be unfocused and give in to pleasure, give in to sin, give in to demons. I created space for bullish, but then want to cry to the most high. That's what I did. Then you want to cry to the most high when you sick. You want to cry to the most high when you in the hospital. You want to cry to the most high when you got no money, when you struggling. You want to cry to the most high, you know, because your relationship gone bad. You want to cry to the most high, you know what I mean, because you 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 your your mental health ain't right. You want to cry to the most high, you know, for all of these other things, bro, but you don't ever want to do what the most high tell you to do. You don't want to walk with the Hamashiach. You don't want to follow lo no law, statutes, and commandments. You want to go against the most high. You want to go against the word. You want to go against your spirit.
You know what I'm saying? And then guess what, bro? The most high don't want to hear it. When you want to go against your spirit, the most high don't want to hear it. So guess what? You're going to find yourself in the same old rain. Just how it is right now. You're going to find yourself in the same old rain, suffering from pain, and it ain't no gains. And guess what? The sun will never shine in your life. The light will never shine in you. The light will, the glow will never come to you in your spirit. The glow will never be in your eyes. The glow will never be in your purpose and your energy. You won't have nothing. And you're going to be fronting, acting like you got it when you don't. And that's what you see a lot of people acting like they got it when they don't. They act like they got the light. Why you think they mad at you? Because guess what? They know you got the light, but they act like they got it. So they want to mimic you. They want to mock you. They want to, they want to, they, they hate you low key, but they still following you. You know what I'm saying? They want to act like you ain't doing nothing. They want to act like you, you know, you know what I'm saying? They, they want to go against you, but they sitting here mimicking you. You know what I'm saying? They sitting there following you. They doing all of these things when they really hate you because you so authentic. You so authentic. This is coming. To, this is coming to you and through you with the work that you putting in, because it's in you. You know these other people. They gotta wear it. It's on them. You know what I mean? And that's one of the worst ways to be. That's one of the worst ways to live. I used to have to live like that because it wasn't in me. The ruach wasn't in me. Knowledge wasn't in me. The light wasn't in me. Righteousness wasn't in me. The energy wasn't in me. None of it was in me. So when it ain't in you, you got to fake it. You got to fake it till you make it. That's the mentality of most people out here. They fake it until they make it. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? They really out here naked. They really out here spiritually naked. They energy is naked. Everything about them, bro. You know what I'm saying? Everything about them is naked and they exposed when it comes to the real. We real. So guess what? When the real can see and that they really exposed. We can feel it in their energy that they empty. We can feel it in their spirit, in our spirit that they ain't got no oil in their lap. You know what I'm saying? We can see it. They exposed. They ain't got no spiritual fruits. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got nothing else to do. You know, so we stay away from them, bro. Anybody who ain't got fruits of the spirit, they demon they they demonic, they liable to turn on you, they liable to hate on you. Because guess what, bro? Because they 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 inspired by demons. You know what I'm saying? They inspired by demons. Anytime you ain't got no oil in your lamp and you ain't got no so you ain't got the most high in your life, then you inspired by demons. If you ain't walking with the Hamashiach, then you walking by the ways of this world and you walking by the flesh. So guess what, bruh? You out here less. And they gonna be less if they even make it in the kingdom. You don't wanna be less in the kingdom, bruh. You know what I'm saying? We don't want to be less here. So guess what? If you less here and you treat yourself like it and you not doing anything, then guess what, bro? You're going to be less, you're going to be less in the kingdom. And if you don't repent, you're going to be in that, you're going to be in that lake of fire. You ain't going to be right. A lot of people in that lake of fire right now, why they living? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, bro, we got to do whatever it takes. We got to continue to grind and we got to do it with a smile on our face, bro. Because we know that it's light at the end of the tunnel. We still know. We know that we blessed even though we going through some stuff, bro. You know what I'm saying? To even think that we not going to go through nothing. Even when even when everything is looking up and, and the sun is shining, bro. We still going to prepare. We still going to prepare because we know that things happen. You know what I'm saying? We know that the Most High is going to put us through things. He's going to put us through that fire so we can learn. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, bro? When most people don't prepare, when most people don't grind, when they get put through that fire by the most high, they burn. We don't burn. We come out stronger. You know what I'm saying? We come out harder. We come out wiser. That's what we do when the most high put us through that fire. You know what I'm saying? And we appreciate it. You know what I mean? We learn to love it. You know what I'm saying? Don't be grievous of it. Don't be, don't feel bad when the most high, you know, put you through things in your life, when you suffer through loss, when you take steps backwards, because the most high know that, listen, bro, this is only going to make him better. This is going to make my children better, the chosen better. This is going to draw them closer to me and continue to seek my face. And that's what the most high wants you to do. He don't want you losing faith. He wants you to continue to seek his face, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of people out here that was that was once in it and they abandoned it just because things happened in their life. You know what I'm saying? They forsake the most high. 
Why you think us, us people, you know what I'm saying, us melodated people, bro? The reason why we've been in, you know, captivity for so long is because we forsake the most high back then. So we had to go through these things. That's why we are the chosen people. It says it in the scripture. Nobody else been hung from trees. It's talked about in the scripture. Nobody else has been in captivity longer than us. It's talked about in scripture. You know what I'm saying? Nobody has been through what we've been through. It's talked about in scripture. So how is the other people? How is the ish people? The chosen people? They not. It's really us. It's really us. So we got to go through this. You know what I'm saying? Because guess what, bro? We are the apple of the most high's eye no matter what we go through. And guess what? There's, there's light at the end of the tunnel. So things are going to be harder for us. You know what I'm saying? Even for the handmaids and servants that are not Israel. You know what I'm saying? But guess what, bro? There's going to be 10 people to just one of us that's going to latch on as long as they follow the laws, as long as they do what needs to be done and keep the most high close. They're going to be able to cling on to just one of us of Israel, 10 people to one. But they got to get right, too. If they want to enter into that kingdom and the kingdom is ain't some imaginary place that you think is going to be the new earth. That's going to be the kingdom of heaven. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be the new earth and the most high is creating that right now. That's why a lot of things and a lot of places is getting tore down right now, because guess what? There's a new earth coming. That's going to be the new kingdom. And if you want to be here for it, then guess what? You better get right right now. You better get right right now. Because even if you pass, if your spirit is right, bro, you got to understand the most high is going to raise the dead. You know what I'm saying? The most high is going to bring you back. You know what I'm saying? But listen, bro, if you're not doing what needs to be done, if you're not repenting, if you out here giving in to, to demonic energy, bro, then guess what, bro? You ain't going to be coming back here. <laughs> you ain't going to be coming back here. You know what I'm saying? So, man, bro, listen, dog, just keep going. All right? And that's my word, man. My name is Jay Sin, the Sin Take. Holla at y'all later, man. Peace.